down or at least talk about the Atlanta Falcons is their new head coach, Arthur Smith. He joins us here on Tiki and Tini. Arthur, welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks for having me. Hey, Coach. I mean, it's it. I didn't know a lot about your background until you started to rise up the ranks over the last couple of years. You're one of the hot uh, co- coaching commodities, and previously with the Tennessee Titans. And uh, and 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 when you got the head coaching job, a lot of people were surprised. But were you surprised? You're one of the younger head coaches in the NFL right now, only 39 years old. Were you surprised at how quickly you rose from a North Carolina University of North Carolina graduate assistant to a head coach in the NFL? Uh, I don't say surprised. I, I think uh, I just try to keep things in perspective. I feel very fortunate. You know, it's it's as you know, it's you know, it, it, you're very. Uh, there's a lot of really good coaches around the country, and I got an opportunity to work in the NFL, and I'm fortunate that I was able to to move up and get this opportunity. And that's really how I feel. I mean, you know, I always had confidence, but uh, as you know, you got to have good staff around you, and you and you really need great players. And so, I certainly had both of those in, in the last couple of years in Tennessee. Yeah, you definitely did in Tennessee, and we saw the successes of the Titans over the last couple of years, especially on offense. It was old school in a sense. You know, Derrick Henry is just, is just a man with the stiff arms and running downhill and hitting his head on the goalposts in four-minute drills, which makes him one of my favorite players. Wow. Uh, how much of that uh, type of mentality, that offensive mentality that we saw in, uh, in Tennessee, are you bringing to Atlanta? Because the personnel is different, uh, but the sure. mindset doesn't necessarily have to change. Yeah, we want that same mindset. You know, a team that can sustain tough times during the games and the season that, that you know tries to wear people down in the fourth quarter. But it doesn't necessarily mean I mean, we're going to play the strengths of our team. Yeah. So we obviously, I knew when I took this job, we don't have the same cast as you have in Tennessee. And, and, and if you think you're just going to print last year's playbook and game plan, I think that's going to work here. That, that's that's just not reality. I mean, you're, you're setting yourself for failure. So we have, we're excited about the personnel we have here. Um, you know, obviously. We like to run the football, but we'll be a little bit different than we were in Tennessee. Yeah, no, you, I think by necessity you have to be without a 250-pound bulldo- bulldozer yeah. uh, for running back. We're talking to Arthur Smith, head coach of the Atlanta Falcons, as we're, as we're breaking down this team in training camp two-a-days. Arthur, uh, coach, you know, when I think about uh, the, the Atlanta Falcons, it, it was a team that felt like it had so much potential, um, but injuries and other factors just kind of got in the way, and Coach Quinn kind of lost it. At, when you came in, what was the first thing that you felt like needed to be remade about this Atlanta culture, uh, football culture, that is. Not the front office. We know that Arthur Blank is unbelievable. Uh, but the football in the locker room culture, what needed to be changed? Well, I, I think the, the first thing is, you know, I, there's been a lot of good coaches here. Dan Quinn's a great coach. There's mm-hmm. been a lot of good players. Every year there's change in the NFL. You know, when, you know people talk about you know, rebuilds, this and that. I mean, you need to adapt every year. You know, you, you'd like to add core players that you feel like you'll have for – for multiple years that you can build around, but sometimes it's just not reality in the NFL. You've got to deal with injuries. There's a salary cap. And so that's what makes it fun, is the strategy about building a team every year. And uh, certainly there's been some there's some good pieces here that we inherited, and we feel really good about the, some of the veterans we brought in the free agency with the mix of the young guys. So we, we had a big draft class, and we have a big undrafted free agent class. So it's a good mix of those three tiers, and uh, we're excited. And, I, and like I said, I, I just never sat there, I think, I've been through some transitions, and I think the easy thing is to do is to, to look back and, and bash what's been done before, but we just look looking forward. And we'll have to do the same thing in 2022. And uh, we got good guys. I mean, we, these guys have been working in training camp, and we're excited about, about the season. Yeah, all you can do is put blinders on and not listen to the uh, the, the history that doesn't affect you, right? It's it's, it's yeah. everything you can control is going forward. A uh, big part of that is your quarterback, Matt Ryan, who is is young by I mean modern standards, given that Tom yeah. Brady's still playing at forty four you know, and Aaron yeah. Rodgers won an MVP at thirty eight, thirty nine. Um, what can, what how is where has his mindset been? Because uh, there was some speculation this past off season that maybe the the team wouldn't hold on to him if he needed to leave. Or or wanted to leave, or uh, they would draft a quarterback. Where, where is he in his in his mindset towards getting back to that MVP level, which we saw a couple of years ago? And how has he looked in training camp uh, with your new system and staff, etc.? You know, Matt's the ultimate pro, and you know he, he's got big goals for himself, and he wants to prove himself every year. And as you know, I mean that's the that's the challenge every in the NFL. I mean, it's not. You know, you can't just rest on what you've done in the past. And Matt, Matt has a great mindset. 
he comes in there, he works. Um, he's not a he's not a guy that's you know barking out and, and then all of a sudden wants to be coddled. I mean, he he wants to be coached hard and he works hard. So it's you know you I feel very fortunate here in year one and you got a veteran quarterback that can lead like that. And he loves being in Atlanta. And you know he he takes a lot of pride in being an Atlanta Falcon. And uh, he's done really well for this organization, and he wants to continue to do that the next couple of years. Yeah, I mean, I I I, I think that he can. Uh, the question is, uh, does the trajectory of the organization match? His, I don't want to say need, but we know how this works. Uh, quarterbacks ultimately get judged by how many championships have you win, whether it's sure. division or, or or conference championships, obviously NFC uh, in your case, or uh, NFL championships. He got there once and hasn't been there. Uh, and, and his, I, I guess we don't know how long that time frame is, let's say five years. Do you think the Atlanta Falcons can get to the point where Matt Ryan could be a championship winning quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons? Or do you see him maybe wanting to go elsewhere? I'll never certainly never speak for somebody else, but I know what his mindset is, and he's a loyal guy, and, and he and I have a great relationship, and we have a shared vision. I think every year you go out, I mean, if your goal isn't to go out there and, and win and, and, and get into the tournament and try to win the uh, Lombardi, then there's something wrong with you. You know, and I know, I know some teams, you know, you may have a couple teams that are just in different, different situations with the maybe their quarterback situation and whatnot, but I would say – there's at least 28, 29 teams that feel that way, and that should be your objective. Um, so, like I said, I mean, every year, I mean, it's just, you know, the narrative changed, the change, you know, certainly the season. I mean, just go back and look at the 2019 season with, with in, in Tennessee. I mean, we started the season as a very different team than what we ended with, and we were right there on the doorstep. So you just never know. Um, but we certainly feel good, and, and I'm not going to give any predictions, but we feel good about our chances to, to improve and hopefully be – have a shot at there at the end to, to get into the dance. Yeah, I know. I think uh, a lot of uh, players, especially on the offensive side, running backs and quarterbacks are, hey, I like this Arthur Smith guy. He got both Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry paid big time. We're, we're talking to Arthur Smith, head coach of the Atlanta Falcons. Um, Kyle Pitts is a freak of nature. At least that's what I see on, on, on the television screen. I haven't seen him in person. Um, when you guys drafted him, I think some people were surprised. Uh, but I think having a weapon like that is invaluable at that position. It's essentially a... a, a, a a big, humongous wide receiver playing a tight end position. What have you seen from Kyle early in training camp as he's adjusting from his days at Florida to the NFL game? Yeah, uh, you know, Kyle, he's a young, he's a young man. I mean, he's twenty; he'll be twenty-one in October. He's, but he's a mature rookie. I was joking. I mean, certainly more mature than I was at his age, and he's handled everything we've thrown at him. And we're really excited about where he's at and how he's grown and developed and. I, 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 we talk all the time, and, and he's about keeping things in perspective, you know. And you played in one of the hardest media markets, really, really. I think in all of sports, and uh, and like you said, you just can't buy into the narratives. You know what he looks like week one. You know he hopes to have a lot of success, and ultimately we'll see where he's at at the end of the year, and, and hopefully he has a long career. But uh, he's a mature guy, and he, he does a good job of keeping things in perspective, and we try to help him with that. Yeah, I think one of the hardest things as a head coach, and, and you're you're experiencing this now, is how much am I focusing on the guys that are right in front of me in my locker room? Uh, but then the cliche that we every coach has told me since I was you know, got into the league in 1997: win your division. Your division's tough, coach. I mean, you yeah, have the defending Super Bowl champions. You have the Saints with Sean Payton and and Carolina is just they're trying to grow as 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 well. Um, how do you balance thinking about getting better every day, but then also looking at that cliche that I was alluding to, winning the division. How do you balance that in such a tough division in the NFC South? Yeah, it, it is a balance, and that's part of the job I signed up for, you know, is, is what is our short-term plan and what is our long-term plan and, and you know, how are we evaluating that, uh, you know, quarterly and then, you know, day-to-day are we, are we improving? But, you, yeah, you got, you've got got a plan for the big picture and, and understand what the season, the 17-game season now, and this is a tough division. Like you just alluded to, um, in Tampa, that's a that's a veteran team with a, with a great staff, and they're just coming off the Super Bowl. You've got the New Orleans Saints, with Sean Payton. I don't know, you know, he's one of the very few guys in the last forty years of coaching the NFL that's had a run of sustained success as he's had, and they've won the division the last four years. And he got in Carolina; they've drafted really well the last last two years. Matt Rule's a good coach; they got a good organization, so it's competitive. That's the fun part about the NFL. So you do have to balance it. You, you've got to be able to have a plan, short term and long term, and and uh, 
and constantly evaluate and make sure you're, you're reaching those goals. Yeah, well, we'll be watching for sure, Coach. And I think a lot of people don't know what to expect from the Atlanta Falcons, but given your 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 track record, uh, I think the success will come pretty quickly. I appreciate you hopping on for a couple minutes to talk about your team, Coach, and congratulations on the on the gig and good luck for this 2021 season. Thank you. I appreciate you having me on. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when we drop fresh content.